showing up tonight. Um, is there, before we go any further, let me, is there any additions to the agenda tonight? I understand, George, please. Yes. If you want, so I'd entertain a motion. Short report. For listers, or? Uh, I'll make a motion that we approve under new business a listers report. All right. Second. Craig, did you have something? I do. All right. Hold on a second. All those in favor uh, Aye. of adding Aye. the listers? Yes, you seconded. Yeah, I seconded. Yeah. All <laughs> all I thought you were going to call anyone. Aye. Aye. Anyone opposed? <laughs> And Mr. Knapp, I think, has got something. Uh, concern regarding adjacent property, which I brought up to the listers last week. Do you want to do that while George is here? Sure. I'm happy to do that. Sure. Okay. okay. So we'll do that with, We. I don't think we need to add that. We'll just make it a part of the listers thing. Conversation. Yep. Right. Okay. And um, <coughs> I'm looking to go into executive session at the end of the meeting on personnel issue. So is there a motion? Do it at the very end. Very end, yes. Kay. Is there a motion to, to... Make a motion that we add an executive session regarding personnel uh, at the very end of our meeting. Is there a second for discussion? Second. Again. Okay, go ahead, Rick. <laughs> oh, all in favor, please say aye. 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 Anyone opposed? All right. Uh... The before we get to the hearing in Sunnyvale, um, let's approve the minutes. So, has everyone looked at those minutes? <coughs> okay. Janet, you didn't send those, did you? Uh, okay. Sorry about that. Um, Janet, you refer to it as the L E M P, but isn't it the L E O P? Isn't it Operations? Local Emergency Operations Plan? I think. Sorry, I. Maybe. I thought it was Local Emergency Management Plan. I could be wrong on that. I think it's LEOP. I think it, I think it is LEOP. Okay, that's fine. I believe. Yeah, I think so. Mm, mentioned several times. I think with that correction, which it does appear several times in the first uh, section four, I'll make a motion that we approve with that correction. Second to that. I'll second. Does anyone see anything else in here? <coughs> Not all in favor then, you say aye. 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 Anyone opposed? No, just show me, uh, I was not here that day, so I will abstain. All right, we got three. Um, shoot back to the hearing. Uh, we're taking over road maintenance for Sunny Hill Drive and Sherry Lane. Are there any folks who want to make any comments that live up there? Hearing nothing, I would make the motion that we officially approve the adoption of Sunny Hill Drive and Sherry Lane as town highways. Is there a second for discussion? Second. Is there any discussion? The only, the only thing I would ask, Mr. Chairman, and I believe this has been answered, but I want to be sure, we do have a map drawing of the underground utilities. Uh, that's right on that. But I'm uh, better than okay. Not that we had it, and it does have uh, the footage For the as well yeah. and all that stuff. Um, 
George, just as a side note, you've been, you know, a lot of folks come down, talk to you, any issues up there on Sunny Hill? No, I mean, not, not that uh, it was a comment or two in passing, but nothing of any consequence. Okay. Poor Sherry Lane. Yeah. Okay. All right, then. There's been a motion made to take that road over. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Okay, and we have a copy of what's going on in town with regard to big bucks. Anybody wants to come up here and check it out, we have a copy here. Um, any public comments? All right, um, hearing none. Would you like to give us an update regarding Steve Bernard, Sheriff Bernard, and some of the information that you just bought the contract down here? So, well, the, yeah, the new contract is for the up to 30 hour a week um, new contract starting July 1st. Um, we are looking at, as, as, you, as Steve mentioned to you, maybe some very weekly hours. As far as coverage, one week maybe a little more than the second week, maybe a little, a little bit less. <coughs> We're actually looking at possibly, when we haven't decided yet, maybe doing a 12-hour day um, using two people. So it can, you would have seven days a week coverage doing it that way. It may only be like five hours a day, but it would be seven days a week um, if we use two people on a 12-hour rotation to cover, um, cover the hours. The only question I had was on, the, I know they, you were looking for 10 hours of dedicated speed enforcement. Um, are you looking for that all in a block or are you looking that spread out over the duration of the week as far as if we end up doing a five day week or a seven day week? Um, um, you know, two hours here, an hour there, or something to, to uh, throughout the week versus, you know, one set or two set days doing five hours of each day or 10 hours a day. For me, it would be able, I could justify it to folks that would give me a call by saying, you know, the dedicated parts are coming in different days because <coughs> we don't know, I mean, if you say, okay, we're gonna do it on the weekend for 10 right. hours. So I think that for me, it's better to be a little flexible. Spread it out. Yeah, on the, yeah, on the STARS reporting, and I, I don't know if you, if you utilize that um, access on our website, but. We are going to have started them have the guys block out when they do speed enforcement. So yep. if they if they do speed enforcement on Middle Road, it'll say speed enforcement from one o'clock to one two thirty or whatever the time frame may be, and then they can put in there how many cars they stopped or contacted in that time frame. So to make it a little simpler for people to understand, okay. and you can actually see what the progression is as far as um, you know how we're doing with speed enforcement and if it's affecting an area or if it's not affecting an area. We're also open to if, you know, the road crew's out and they're seeing an issue on a road, you know, give us a call and we'll try to beef up some patrols in those areas to, you know, they're out they're out and about on different spots than we are, so, and they're going to see traffic as well. So they'll, they'll know if it's... Uh, <coughs> I know this happens from time to time, but I would appreciate um, when the deputy is in the area, when he first comes into the area, if the town hall is open during that particular session that he could just stop in and ask Gloria if there's any been okay. any uh, yeah I thought they were pretty good about doing that but maybe it's kind of gotten off track a little no, bit no 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 but I mean on ongoing okay basis so that would be one of the yep. requests I think um, does anybody else have anything else no, yeah I, th I mean I agree I think spreading it out and um <coughs> That, that to me makes the most sense. Ab absolutely, because uh, if you do it in one block, people are going to get used to when they're going to be there. Right, right, right yeah. So you don't want that. Yeah. Okay, there's number seven in this. It says, blank, shall serve as administrator of this agreement for the town and will act as a liaison. Now that's been always you been. I have here. been, yeah. Yeah, so I think that I want you to put your name in there. If you approve this contract to me. Yeah, I'll, I'll be willing to okay. put my name in there. Um, is there any other concerns, Bob? 
The number number matches the budget, right? We check that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I'll make a motion that we approve the updated sheriff contract uh, with Rick Wilbur serving as administrator and uh, liaison between the sheriff's department and the town of Clarendon. Is there a second? I'll second that. Uh, all members have to sign this. All board yep. members have to sign this. Okay. Is there any questions from the public before we go on with this? Yes. Not a question, just a comment. Uh, thanks for the service you guys are doing. You know, in my mind, the most important thing is the visibility. Mm -hmm. and so thank you. Okay. It's okay. answered. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right, then. Uh, there's been a motion made, seconded. Uh, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 And anyone opposed? Looks like we have these four members. You so can't oppose something the voters voted on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it won't go very well for you. You're not going to oppose something the voters voted on. Especially if it's an election year. Excuse me. Oh, here, just pass that up to Chris too. Sure. Uh, is there anything else under highway? Um, yeah, just one second. Let me finish signing my name. We'll have to put the date on that, Rick. Um, Cash is under the weather, but he did leave me a couple things to um, report. Um, apparently, the covered bridge uh, is starting to be addressed. Remember that mm -hmm. we had issues uh, on the underside that needed to be addressed. Um, so that has started. Um, I'm not sure if Janet, he said you could add more potentially to that, but just that it started. It started and there is a, a plan that they're going to walk through. Okay. So it, yeah, it's more than just started. Okay. Um, he met with VTrans. Um, the town did not get a paving grant for 2020. Um, of the 31 towns in District 3, um, eight towns were approved and accepted for paving grants. And that's okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, we come back because cash got signed, right? And the vast oh, majority. Uh, well, yeah. If you want him to sign it, uh, he's not here legally. Then. Yeah. Um, if you want to wait and have Rick bring it in if we see him, or I can take it the way it is. It doesn't uh, either way. If he well, wants to I sign it, he can. Yeah. But didn't it say we all had to sign it? Well, the thing is, he's here right now. Mm -hmm. A majority of the board signed it. Yeah. And so, okay. Janet, can you make a copy of this, and then you can take it. Um, to just finish that. So eight towns were accepted for paving grants. Out of apparently a, a majority of those thirty-one towns did turn in grant applications, um, but the money was used up after eight had been awarded. So, um, basically, better luck next next year. <laughs> That's what he said. That's what <laughs> pretty much the verdict was. So, the, uh, I think. Part of that conversation that I sat in on, uh, he did uh, stress to us that get the applications in on time. Okay. And that's paying All right. Thank yeah. you very much. If you're all set with me, I'm probably going to have moments on the wrong one. So, <laughs> you got any questions or anything? I don't have them. <laughs> all right. Well, thank you. Thanks, David. All right. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Um, and that's all Cash gave what us. What were you saying, Mike? What? Well, you were saying something and then you stopped in the middle of it. I forgot. You met down here. You said you met down no. here. No. When I, when, when I was here, I did not stop in the middle. I was done saying what I was had okay. to say. But the, the thing was to repeat is um, that he said that it's the responsibility of the town. Now... I think Heidi can verify this. He did say that um, Clarendon is a you know favorable kind of town for grants and stuff like this. So he said the problem is we didn't get it in on time, and that was 
the issue. So next year, that's what he's saying. Am I correct? Yes. All right. Um, is there any questions under highway that we can get back to cash? Anybody have some concerns? You guys going to open the paving bids tonight? That was he didn't say anything to me about it on the phone. No, really. How many bids did we have? Um, I have two. He's given me. I left one today with the town clerk per she instruction. Brought, she did bring it over to me. Yeah. Yes. Um, I assumed you guys were opening them tonight at the meeting. That's why I'm sitting here <laughs> patiently waiting. Oh. If it's another time, then so be it. But I just wanted to ask. Well, then what yeah, we what can do be? is have a. Uh, Let me. Get him on the phone and see what he. Yeah. What the end. Right, so he did say he would answer the phone, so let me see. I'll meet the way. I just was. There was no date for that. Those bids to be in was there? Nope. That nor, it. Nor was it on the agenda first night. I'm not sure what the time is for that. Yeah. Nope. Maybe he just anticipated putting in the agenda if he was here or something. He probably. Went, I don't know, but. but what we can. Two, once we get the, I'd like that. We always like to have at least three bits. He didn't answer. All right, so okay. he may not be going with it. Okay. Uh, <coughs> if there's a special meeting or something, we will contact all those folks that have been. Otherwise, I suspect um, it won't be until our next meeting. Two two weeks from now, probably. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Maybe, maybe they're waiting on another one. I'm not sure, but I, I just thought they were due for tonight's meeting. That was my interpretation so was it was it posted in the paper or did he just call no, people he just called me he called uh, okay. he actually he brought over some information and okay. streets and but footages and a whole nine yards i had a but bid package but like i said if he's not uh, if we can't get a third bid mm -hmm. then we'll either react by having a special meeting just for that purpose yep or we'll have a uh, we'll time it for our next meeting. Yeah, yeah, because he Perfect talked. He talked to me on the phone, and he didn't say anything. He didn't leave anything on this for me either. <coughs> I don't know. No problem. Thanks. Have a good night, everybody. Okay. Right. Thank you. Sorry about that. Yeah. Well, the problem is we didn't we didn't handle it. The road commissioner handled it, and he's not here, so. We were not the you ones that either. formally put it out to bid. Right. No. Bids coming in. Right. The select board did not put it out for bid per se. The, mm -hmm. That's under the road commissioner's purview. So without him here, we can't do anything about it. Right. Um, but we can certainly have a special meeting to open yep. up bids. Mm -hmm. yeah. Maybe. If needed. If needed. Uh, Old business. Is there anything else under old business? Hmm? George, yes. new business. Yes, thank you. Uh, I guess almost good news is that we're almost done with the reappraisal. We had uh, 40 folks come in when we had the pre grievance hearings. It was three days, uh, very busy days, the uh, week before last. <clears throat> and of the 40, we had 19 that uh, filed a grievance. And of the 19, there were a few changes, weren't very significant changes. And they, uh, today they were mailed the results of their grievance hearings. And then they have 14 days if they wish to petition to have a hearing before the Board of Civil Well, I was going to say the BCA is next, right? Okay. During the BCA <coughs> meeting, uh, John Tiffany of Nimrick will be here to uh, work with the listers in terms of advising the BCA of our viewpoint. Huh. And I did go out with uh, the folks collecting the data several times. Uh, I also went out with the head guy of the organization. We went to the um, park, the uh, mobile park up here uh, by Mike's Country Store and uh, went through every one of those mobile homes in terms of 
checking the facts that were taken on it, the data that was taken on it. And then through the sales analysis that have occurred over the last three years, we adjusted the prices of those mobile homes mostly uh, downward. There, a lot of them are in fairly uh, tough shape. Uh, the other thing of interest would be that um, during the six days that we had the preliminary hearings and the grievances, we had some incredible help from a member of the organization here in Town Hall. And I'd like to give a round of applause to our treasurer who took notes for us those six days. Yay. Yay. Thank you very much. Better clap louder. <laughs> <laughs> so that's all I have, unless there's questions. Um, I have some questions. Certainly. Um, <coughs> how many folks do you suppose are going to go to BCA? Well, one of the interesting things that happened, there was five people that didn't want to come to the information or pre-hearings. They wanted to go right to grievance, which is fine, they did. And I suspect that some of those folks will show up. They had some pretty significant opinions, I guess I'll put it that way, that uh, I'm not sure that we were able to change anything enough to make it happen. I probably shouldn't tell you any of those. No, short, short, no. short version is you'll know in 14 days. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, yeah. We can certainly, as, <laughs> sure. as they come in, let your folks know. Yeah, yeah. I, I, sure. I appreciate that too. And, and as I said, John, uh, Tiffany, which some of you guys met because he was here for quite yeah. a few times, or many days will be here to work with the listers in terms of giving you the information and why the decisions were made that were made. And then it'll be up to you guys to decide what you want to do. Any other questions for George? I think so. Um, Mr. Knapp. <laughs> What's up? All right. Um, well, we had a discussion. We were one of the folks that uh, came in for the pre-appeal uh, uh, and also the uh, grievance with the listers. And uh, during that discussion, uh, we, my wife and I pointed out that we have had concerns for quite some time about uh, an adjacent property to our east, which I was under the impression was owned by a gentleman by the name of Tom Pritchard, who you may know. He's an excavator. Um, when I looked in the appraisal book, his name didn't appear, but there are a couple of Pritchards in there, and the acreage, I think, matches up with one of the couple of the folks that are in there. How they're related, I'm not sure. But the concern is that over the last, I'm not sure when that property was purchased, it was purchased from the Squires, that um, uh, what was a pretty tranquil 10-acre parcel of forest has turned into a pit and certainly respect the right of a landowner to do with their land as they may with limitations, I think. Uh, our concern is twofold, um, with, specifically with regard to that property. One, that immediately as if you were, I, George, I think you went up yeah, and looked at it um, at our request. Um, if you were to come into our driveway immediately to the east, and I mean immediately to the east, there are two 18-wheeler beds that are full of whatever. Um, they, not every single day, but they leach uh, something out of the bed into the ground. And the well for that house is right there. The well for our house is within 150 feet, maybe. Um, there's broken windows. Previously, there were commercial um, sewage pipes that he was able to sell, and I actually helped him to <laughs> load it. Um, tires. It's very unseemly. I we, the, we, are absolutely convinced that the value of our property is decreased 
um, as a consequence to that. Um, the pit is not a small pit, it's a very large pit. There's also a wooden log building that sits there that is in a very dilapidated condition. Um, and um, haven't seen any fires too recently, but there were some pretty massive fires uh, at that property within the last year, year ago, two years ago, et cetera. Um, I have had some repeated conversations with Mr. Pritchard, friendly conversations. He's certainly never been uh, aggressive or in any way unseemly in our discussions, and neither have I. Um, and he's always um, acknowledged the eyesore and the, you know, the fact that it's a problem is stated on multiple occasions that he desires to be a good neighbor and yep I'll get it moved and we've had that conversation uh, not once twice not five times but probably at least ten times over the last three four years and not a single thing has changed so um, I understood from our discussions last week that the uh, town is considering uh, an ordinance to uh, regarding keeping property in uh, some type of manageable condition. There's a question as to whether or not it's a health concern. I can't verify that, but it seems like it's... I was, I was going to ask, Craig, have you, especially with the, you call it the bed or whatever that's, that's leaching every once in a while, have you contacted the health officer at all? Not yet. Okay. That's next on the list. Okay. Yes, Mark. Did you say there were, do you have a 10 acre forest in there? No, we don't have a 10 acre. We have three and a half. No, because the squire, I'm a squire. Right. And we have it. And we're going to have to have it surveyed again because we can't find, I mean, it cost $10,000 for the squires to have that all surveyed. And the stakes have been pulled. And so you think on, this, his, on his back. I was going to say, so you think this lot is potentially encroaching on what remains of the squire property? No, no, no. I don't, I don't know. I do know that, uh, uh, I'm not saying who pulled the stakes. Sure. But, I mean, it was a lot of money to get it done, and the stakes are no longer there. So we're going to have to hire and have it redone. Um, we haven't been, had such a pleasant experience with this man as this man has. Um, and, you know, the town... I found tires in the road. I think I called Bob on it. Yeah. I remember and that. And the rocks yeah. came down. I mean, right. that, that, that was that was a year or so ago, two yeah, years ago. There, there doesn't seem to be much regard for things. And I, I understand he doesn't live there. He just rents it. No, he rents it out. And actually, my wife met. I mean, there have been, well, that's another issue. I mean, over the years, there seems to be a lot of traffic at night, uh, late at night. Um, but, um, I don't want to comment further on that, but um, my wife did recently go up and visit with a young woman who apparently is renting that property at this point. And uh, again, I can't do this secondhand, but I trust my wife for 50 years. She mentioned that it was uh, the state of the immediate property. She had concern for the fact that there was there were small children there, yeah. and there were concerns about, uh, again, health-related issues as to whether or not that property should <coughs> be rented at this point in time. George, what did you see when you see Well, essentially, he, what I've, you know, again, I just had a visual look at yes. what he was talking about and it seemed to be, uh, he seemed to be accurate in what he was describing. But as a lister, I mean, it's not much, it's out of our, well, our it's, purview. But I just the, wanted to know what, yep. no, <coughs> is, is that um, a working pit? Grapple pit, or is it in the past it has been and he just it, it's um, he dug a hole and he's, and he's dumping debris in it in the hole. Yeah, it's the so way to get rid of stumps and construction debris, I think. Yeah, I, mean, that's supposed to I know that's why I think we better. Well, I, was I, I just, I, I'm sorry to interrupt, but uh, you just mentioned you thought it was two acres. He only has two acres there because it was bought off my Uncle Willard. Yeah, uh, nice man, by the way. Yes. Oh, uh, very nice man. But, um, yeah, the, 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 
the number 10 acres came from uh, my understanding and my wife's understanding. It didn't look like 10 acres to me. <coughs> you know, but again, I don't know the full boundaries of that property. Uh, the 93 acres goes right to the railroad. No, no, I don't mean your property. I mean, well, there's I mean, nobody has 10 acres in there. Okay. Other than the squires is. Yeah, all right. So. Well, I would say that the first thing is, it, especially with what you're talking about leaching, especially if there's oil or if there's something like that, I would say the health officer needs to check that out. Because yep. if that's, that's why we have a health officer. So, mm -hmm. um, and I, so I'll make a motion that we um, that contact uh, Richard. Richard and have him uh, make a check up there and mm -hmm. see, make sure that there's no health violations and if they are we need to get those addressed mm -hmm. in that pit as well oh the pit i don't know how much <coughs> the health officer going to do there then <coughs> if for instance construction we're dumping stumps at the transfer yeah. station and mm -hmm. the state is telling us we got to pull them out that means why is, yeah. why is it well, looking at shingles uh, yeah, i don't think like it's that. limited to stumps no, it's it's building. So I guess so. I'll, I'll yeah, do that that motion, and then we no. can do another motion. So All I've right. got I've got that motion made. Okay, I'll second Robert's motion. Right. Okay. Any further discussion on that motion? Hearing none. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 All right. Then I'll make a motion that we also contact the zoning administrator and have him check on the status of the property, and if there are any zoning violations occurring. Is there a second for that. And I'll also second that one. All right. Any further discussion? All right. Hearing none, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Anyone opposed? So tomorrow we have to, um, maybe we can make a note there and um, get in touch with, <laughs> okay, get in touch with both the health officer and zoning. Get something investigated. All right. Anything else? George, you? Uh, just see if Art wants to add anything. Art, I gave a brief report on the end result of the uh, reappraisal in terms of the number of people and all that sort of thing. Is there anything you wanted to add? Nope. Okay. Okay. Is there, uh, Heidi, would you like to? Uh, Give us the report for the treasurer. Um, I've presented you with the budget status report to date. Um, after we go through today, this afternoon, I've also given you the <coughs> normal audit report that has been submitted to us by Sullivan Powers. I do have extra copies if anybody would like uh, from the public would like a copy. Um, they are first come, first serve, as we have limited amounts of those, but. Uh, there will be one on file with the town clerk, so if anybody wants to look it over here in the office, they're more than welcome to do so. Um, in the back of the board's copies are the uh, letters to management, which are specifically for management. Um, so those are for you there in formal form as well. And then I think the last thing I have is I put uh, in front of Mike the annual financial management questionnaire that towns and cities are required to fill out by statute and treasurers are supposed to fill out uh, every year annually and then have the board sign off on it. Yep, that's exactly what it is. Um, basically just goes through and uh, looking at checks and balances and making sure that we're doing what we need to be doing and so that we can then um, add this into our minutes that get scanned into our, our book there in the vault. Um, as recorded as this this is what we're doing so so we have to sign off on this one person yep yeah. it's the select board chair probably yeah. so is there a uh, well let me pass this down so you guys can look at it and then we'll yep. absolutely and I think that is all I have for you Well, Gloria, would you like to give a report, town officer's report? Actually, today was the last day for dog registrations, and I got, I'd say, pretty much all of them that were delinquent. 
by today. Today I had 12 wow. of them alone. Wow. That's wow. It was the last day. So I not a lot of people are going to get chased then, you don't think? No, okay. Well. Wow. Oh, good job. Yep. Now, did the sheriffs get involved with any of those? Not yet. No. Nope. Well, that's been passed around. Janet, do you have anything you want to bring up? I'm good with that. Thing. No, Bob's looking at it, but I'll make a motion that the select board chairman sign the annual, what's it called, financial Thingy. survey uh, by the town. Is there a second? Oh, nice. Is there a second on that motion? Second. I gave him some comment. Sorry. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Anyone opposed? George, I left one for, for cash. All right, all right yeah, I just want to make sure you get that. Um, and I the chairman. I have a proposal from Holden Memorials regarding the two stones that Robert mentioned earlier in the year. Sorry it took so long to get it, Robert. But oh, uh, these right here? Yeah. Uh, I come down yesterday morning. I met Sean down here, and we kind of went over things a little bit. Uh, Report the cost. One of them uh, is kind of easy except for the fact that there's some parts missing at the top and he says the best thing to do is just put up what you got we found one broken part that goes with the rest of it but uh, yeah. it's not there and he said uh, it'd be almost impossible to ever do anything beyond that and the other one that's on the uneven foundation he started out he wanted to take and lift it right off and pour foundations on but I told him we didn't have an awful lot of money to deal with yep. so he says he can uh, shim it up and bring it back up epoxy the top back on but he says every few years you will have to maybe level it just a little bit are there any, are there any perpetual funds for this one so we've already spent the budget so we're gonna have to do it July I'll have to look at it July after July 1st yeah right well, that's why I told him we wouldn't be able to do nothing at least till the next fiscal year. Yeah, because I was going to say we've spent. But he said it would probably be later in the year before he could get to it. Okay. What's the cost? To the the cost on. What was budgeted for next year? Well, on the one that uh, is just going to level up and put the top up at 350 and the one that needs uh, the other stuff put back together is 460 So you got a total of 460 Seven sixty eight eight ten, I believe it is. That's not too bad. I mean, if the board so wishes, you can use your contingency money. Eight ten. Okay, you can't do it until later on this year, anyway. Yeah, it'd be. He said. So if anything. He said he'd have it done before the end of the year. That's the way he put it. To before me. the fall. Yeah, mean? he's got quite a lot of work right now. So uh, you want to make a motion on that, Bob? Well. <laughs> For discussion. My, my only thought is, do we want another proposal, or do we want to go with that one? Who else is there around? I mean, the only other one is Bulker that I know of. Gowetz yeah. doesn't do any fixing like that. Who? Over West Rutland Gowetz. They still run. I don't think Gowetz do much of that now. They do don't they? do repair. I don't think so. I'm not sure. Okay. We could check and see. I, I I I mean, if if Sean can't get to it till the fall, let's do let's take our time and do a little more research before mm -hmm. we jump on it. It's okay. my thought. Yeah. Let's see if we can get a couple more quotes and see what they say. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. That's my You're thought. Right. Okay. I mean, you we guys. can't. It's not gonna. It's not gonna get done or, and paid before July first anyway. Right. So it's right. not. Uh, it's not a rush. 
are, are you going to uh, take the initiative to inquire? I, I will call my mother too, if, unless Cindy would maybe like to. I was about her to. Her uh, the, the cemetery people, or my wife. Uh, get a couple more so bids. Can we, let's give this to the cemetery committee yeah. members that are. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, and then um, yeah. not to take your wife out of this, but I mean. Oh, you know, yeah, well. will get oh, back yeah. to her. The circumstances there, yeah. yeah. Uh, Sure, go ahead. All right, Cindy, you guys. And then when, if you get, as ba uh, Robbie is requesting, a couple more. Because this was to fix, what, the spire right here? Yeah, yeah just these over, two. And then there was another one that Yeah, there's fell two of them right, right there okay. fairly close It was together. those two. Yeah, yeah. Yes. okay. And yep. then, um, if you want, after the meeting, we can walk out there. Yeah, I, I know which ones. That I, yeah. I just wanted to make sure we were talking about the same ones, these yeah. two right here. Yeah. No, no holding hands, though, when you're working out. No. Scary. You gotta avoid That's the scary. You gotta avoid the poison ivy out there. Um, but we we'll get this after the meeting, and then if you guys do get a little close, then we can include Joan, uh, update her too, right? So. Um, speaking of cemeteries, um, I wasn't gonna bring it up tonight, but one of the things that I looked at um, hadn't driven by um, West Clarendon cemetery chipping hook in a long time um but uh I, I will say the cemeteries are looking good i don't know how many people yeah. have been i've yep. been impressed with how they're looking um but uh the one thing that we might want to consider i know we've budgeted all the money that was left but contingency money we may want to consider getting somebody in there with a weed whacker that's got some blades on it and hacking back on the east side where the cindy brought up a couple weeks ago the stones are now back in the brush yeah. and i didn't realize how far it had grown up until i drove by the other day and could see how tall the stuff is so we may want to consider doing that and consider it and, see and let it goes. at least to get those there's like three three stones down in there i think that are now back that's in the section by yeah. the fence by it's the it's fence. Uh, by the east fence in the yeah. old section down kind of over the bank on the by east McCormick's, but uh, no. yeah. uh, mcclellan's mcclellan's yep so i mean my my thought is is we might want to consider i mean it's probably going to be put somebody in there while you're going to spend a hundred bucks or a couple hundred bucks to just but it's got to be somebody that's got the blade the blade type yeah. on their weed whacker that they can hack through the stuff so can you get some information on it you guys Let's say cemetery committee yeah we also have to do something about that stone and i don't know what we're going to do which one are you Thing, talking about the one, the one that got sprayed right or whatever oh the one that got vandalized yeah i don't you know who i think i would talk to about that is um the voca guy um yeah can't think of his name right now but he'd be I'm the one ripping. yeah i think he'd be the one i'd reach out to and say hey we is there anything that'll take safely take spray paint off of an old stone without i mean marble is so porous whatever you're going to put on there is going to suck right up and that's going to be bad but i even ask sean about it too sean yeah any of them might know can i make, make a just ask a quick question the east clarendon cemetery isn't managed at all by the time Correct. Correct. Um, I'm on that board, and if uh, it turns out we need somebody to do rework analysis, if you, uh, if you find somebody, could you maybe they might want to parlay a, a little larger job? Cecil acquired someone last week. He did get someone. Yeah, he did get someone. We just had a meeting. Thank you. That's for this year. Next year, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Um, well, we I want to go you into did. executive session, but do we want to talk about Selectman's concerns before we go into executive session? Because you're going to shut down when we go into. Yep. So, Bob, do you have any? No, I think I'm pretty well set tonight. All right. Um, there's been a few folks that's called about road issues and I think that uh, Joel didn't you have some 
uh, let's say, discussion with some of the folks that live up on West Timbeth Road. So Cash is dealing with things like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. <coughs> Rob, do you have anything? I don't have anything else tonight. Um, still um, looking at the getting the updated ordinances for speed. 133, 103. Yeah. And we did discuss. Um, I think it was when it, when we were talking about the forest on the other side about uh, doing some type of an ordinance where no uh, snowmobiles, four wheelers, that type of stuff. Um, I can look at a. I'll try to take a look at a. What the state might have a blueprint for. I'll try to look into that. And uh, maybe even to find out if we got to measure these roads uh, as far as the uh, speed limits on 103 and, and 133. If the, what needed to be in that. If there's anything specific needed to be in that. Cash did mention to me on the phone that he was talking I thought he might have mentioned with Sheriff Bernard about a discussion regarding the speed limits on Tier Road and even possibly Quarter Line. Is that the other one, Joel? I think, so. I think there's been some talk about <coughs> um, potentially addressing that because, especially when our Learning. employees have been up there working, it's been very unsafe. Even yeah. even with people going at the speed limit, it's been too fast. Yeah, so, yeah, the speed limit. yeah that's yeah. what the conversation's been. There's been some calls this is one of the calls I got was from uh, Tier Road uh, right on the hill by uh, Pat Lampers yeah. yeah and uh, yeah. the UPS guy is still flying low yeah. down there and stuff so well I would say after <coughs> July 1st we do some yes we want some some targeted our, patrols and our ordinances as well mm -hmm. On the Port Line Road, uh, I think that's used as a route from south part of town into Rutland and Center Often, Quite often, I have a feeling that folks go 50 or so, I would guess. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, when you see the stones <coughs> flying and all that, you got to watch When we were, we no. had a meeting up there to look at uh, where Schoolhouse yeah. Hill yeah. Road and I mean, you, everybody was there. There was a couple <laughs> vehicles that went flying through there. I couldn't believe it. Yeah. <laughs> With a, you know, and there was more or less not even one lane because there was a couple people <coughs> that were in our discussion had their vehicles parked there, and they yeah. just get out of the way. I'm coming through. And I'm yeah. like, <laughs> the thing of it is, when it, after it's just graded and you have a lot of loose stones, yeah. Mm -hmm. You can be off the road pretty quick, too. Mm -hmm. Now, if we could go back just a second, Mr. Chairman, slip my mind. They weren't complaints, but it's been mentioned to me a couple of times that motorcycle speeding, uh, well, around the village, uh, Alfrecia Road, Middle Road. That was another, road. It's a whole that was another one, the Middle Road. Mm -hmm. um, Summertime fun. Yeah, coming out of the <laughs> high school. With a young guy coming out of yeah. high school there. And of course, I'll settle down right here in a few days now. Yeah. Okay. <coughs> Did Cash have any? He said that they were, he was not anticipating opening paving bids tonight. So okay. that was okay. his update. <laughs> All right. All right um, if you guys have nothing else, I'd entertain a motion to go into executive session for personnel issue. So moved. Second. And for discussion. Do you yeah. want to place a time limit? Um, yeah, I guess, uh, let's say, no later. 20 than minutes? 25 minutes? Yeah, no later. Well, let's say no later than 7.15. So 25 minutes. Mm -hmm. 25 minutes. Okay. All right. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Anyone opposed? Okay, thank you, folks. Good night, everybody.